What's up guys, Dwight Man here, and I think I'm about to jump off a 24 block high building in Minecraft because I've tried to record this seven separate times and I've been interrupted with a phone call or some other thing every single time. But regardless, the Twitter or X drama that's been happening in the DVD community has been insane, so I kind of wanted to shed some light on it. Uh, Swart, the user that I found here, seems to be the origin of this uh, whole thing. As they say, I think we need to talk about the going next issue on DVD. The game is near unplayable sometimes, holy. And they post this screenshot of them playing Unrelenting Freddy and four other survivors seeming to just have a low enough score where they, they seemingly just gave up. Um, so that got a few people talking. Uh, Lilith Omen, namely, uh, replies, Remove the ability to attempt self-unhooks. If you really want to go next, DC, and at least give your teammates a bot to try and escape. Giving up at five gens is a guaranteed win for the killer and a selfish way to avoid the penalty. Uh, Spook and Jukes also speaks on the matter, not directly at the post, but says, Behavior needs to remove the self-unhook attempts on first hook unless they have deliverance or something, obviously. If you want to rage quit a match at five gens, eat a DC penalty and leave your team with a bot. Um, now on this, I agree. Um, I kind of in the same vein, I think when you start playing Dead by Daylight, unless someone has told you, uh, you get hooked first, and then you see the attempt self-unhook right under your hook, and you think, oh, hey, there's something I can do. Um, but you don't understand how low the percentage chance of you actually getting off the hook is, and or that you shouldn't be doing that, because you're, you're feeding, right? So most people don't know that. Um, it's not in the tutorial or anything, to my knowledge, and um, most people don't play the tutorial anyways. They just get in. So... Um, I, I, I'm unsure of what they, the solution there is, but I think removing it altogether is probably a good idea, and, you know, in the same vein or within the same action, they'd be stopping some of these, you know, people that give up so early, right? So, um, keep in mind also, um, there's a couple things with that, uh, if they were to go ahead with that, and one of them being, there's a lot of builds, like there's a luck build and uh, things like that, uh, where you kind of just, you give everyone deliverance type thing. Um, which is really cool. They'd have to kind of remove that and rework that somehow. Um, there's also, I mean, you have to think about all these other games that like, they give you a penalty for being AFK or whatever, they like kick you from the game, throw you back to the main menu. DVD can implement something like that. Um, but that's not really giving up, that's just kind of being AFK. Uh, but point being, there's a lot of games that give you big penalties for being AFK or gone during the first part of the match and they're bigger than five minutes, they're like an hour. So, um, that's kind of something to look into and kind of talk about. Um, but DVD is definitely an exception in that front, so I think that's important to bring up. Um, the next post I was going to look at was Deadly Naya uh, saying, The amount of removed DC penalties is frying my brain. You guys cannot be serious. Aside from making things worse, the servers are already hanging by a thread. How do you think they'd handle a load of a million bot lobbies? They aren't removing DC penalties. Horrible take. And um, on that front, I, I agree. I agree with that. Um, I don't think they should ever remove them. I do think they should ramp up slowly, um, but more on that in a second here. But basically, yeah, I, I don't think they should ever remove them entirely. And if they do, they shouldn't tell people, and I agree with that. Uh, BRB AFK says, since we're all talking about DC penalties, I'll just say this. There's no reason why it should stack the days slash weeks. The servers are terrible. Some people have bad internet. Getting punished because you lose connection isn't fair. The DC penalty should never go above 30 minutes. Now on that, I agree and or disagree. I think that a match lock for like an hour is definitely reasonable. Um, and a lot of games, uh, like I mentioned previously, that, that is a thing. Um, I do think that like being punished for the server going offline should be differentiated, things like that. That, that should be kind of, you know, commonplace. There's a lot of there's a lot of things like the the Steam update that happened that give people DC penalties. The game servers just crash uh, and that gives you a DC penalty, which is what I had mentioned in my comment below. It, it happened to me, um, so definitely worth looking into on that. Um, Kaido posts a meme that I think is really funny. Uh, they say, "Should there be a DC penalty in the presidential debate?" Which I think is hilarious. Um, and then there's there's another user that posts this um, this video of them stopping a sable uh, from from giving up on second hook, which. Um, Guys, don't do this. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm blurring their name because uh, it's not that important, but uh, they post themselves doing that. Don't do that. You're going to get banned. Uh, that's not good. Don't do that. Um, they they post this, and I, I, don't, I don't think that's good either. I don't think forcing someone to stay in the game or holding the game hostage is good either, but this would all kind of go away if we got rid of the first... Uh, the, the unhook attempts, and I and I get it. I understand people don't want to play certain games, and they want to they want to give dev statistics, right? They want to they want to say, well, you know what? If there's enough people that give up on Skull Merchant, they're gonna get changed. And you know what? 
they're right. Uh, I'm gonna probably make a video on that soon because they did definitely uh, address that. Um, but the yeah, the, the, giving a dev statistics because you don't want to play a game or whatever um, is interesting. But also at that at that rate, just don't play the game. Impact their metrics, their numbers. You know, make it so that you don't want to play the game. Just turn it off. They're gonna get less people playing it, and ultimately it'll help the servers. But if you're so addicted that you're going to keep playing it anyways. It doesn't really help or hurt anyone. So giving up on first hook just hurts the people that are in the match. I think that's kind of dumb. That's my take. Uh, if you like what you saw, please throw a, a like on here. Put it in the comments. Uh, something about any of the tweets or posts that I talk about. Uh, and what's your opinion? Do you think you should be able to give up uh, on first hook like it currently is? Or do you think there should be a change? Uh, what are your guys' thoughts? And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. And as always, Gamers.